Hello friends. I'm Miss D and I work at the Worthington Park Library. And today I'm here to present to you five awesome books for first graders. So let's begin. The first book I have for you is Fox the Tiger by Corey R. Tabor. So this book is about Fox and Fox wants to be a tiger. He thinks tigers are big and they're sneaky and they're super fast. So he decides to dress up like one and he presents this disguise to his friends Turtle and Rabbit. Well, Turtle, Turtle and Rabbit also want to join in on the fun. So Turtle dresses up as a race car. And what does Rabbit dress up like? Well, Rabbit aims for a robot costume. So all of them are having so much fun in their disguise, but then it starts raining, which kind of melts their costumes off of their off their bodies. And they end up going back to being a fox, a turtle, and a rabbit again. And this makes Fox super sad because he wants nothing more than to be a tiger until he runs into a squirrel. And this is the squirrel's first time seeing a, t a fox. And he thinks foxes are big. And he thinks foxes are fast and sneaky. And Fox realizes that, hmm, maybe it's not so bad being a fox after all. So if you want to find out more about fox, read Fox the Tiger. Okay, let's get into our second book, shall we? So the second book I have for you is called Frankenbean by Jamie Machalik. Now Frankenbean is about Frank, who happens to be a hot dog, and Bean, who happens to be, well, a bean. Now one day Frank is in the forest and he's, you know, he loves the quiet and it's super quiet, there's no one really around, and he loves writing in his secret notebook. And the next morning he wakes up and he hears a loud, loud noise and he doesn't know where it's going, coming from. So he ends up doing some investigating. And what he finds out is it's actually Bean. And Bean is the, quite the opposite of Frank. Bean is super loud and he loves music. And he loves talking too. And Frank really, really loves the quiet. So he's not happy about Bean being around. Well... Bean is super, super excited, and he's like, actually, he, love, he loves music so much that he's looking to form a band. And there's only one problem. He's a one-man band, and he needs to find more people to be part of his band so he's not so lonely. So, if you want to find out if Bean can find another partner, and if Frank can help him on his journey from going from a one-man band to a true band, you should read... Frankenbean. Okay. Cece loves science. Push and pull. So Cece, as the title says, Cece loves science. Science is her favorite subject in school. And her favorite teacher is Miss Curie. And Miss Curie brings Cece and her friends in the classroom and they are doing a push and pull contest to see if they can, there's a whole bunch of different items that Miss Curie has in her class and they have to uh, do a contest to see who can come up with a push and pull me uh, method to deliver a treat to Cece's dog and special guest of the class, Einstein. There's Einstein right there. And they have to come up with clever ways um, such as using a, tr a toy truck, a piece of string, dominoes, a marble to figure out how they can deliver the treat from a cup to Einstein. So if you want to learn more about pushing and pulling and those types of forces, you should read CC Loves Science, Push and Pull. Okay, let's get into our next story. So the next story I have for you today is Mercy Watson to the Rescue by Kate DiCamillo. 
Now, this is Mercy. Mercy is a pig. And Mercy belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Watson. They love Mercy a lot. And Mercy loves them too. The only thing that Mercy loves just as much as Mr. and Mrs. Watson is buttered toast. That's her favorite treat. One day, Mr. and Mrs. Watson are putting Mercy to bed. But Mercy doesn't want to sleep alone. So she ends up climbing into Mr. and, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Watson's bed. But while they're dreaming, all of a sudden, they hear a creak noise. And then the floor beneath them starts to shake. And they discover that the bed is falling through the floor. So they have to get help before they all crash to the kitchen, which is underneath their bedroom. Or below their bedroom. So Mr. and Mrs. Watson are trying to come up with ways to get out of the bed safely and get help when Mercy decides to slip away from the bed. And Mr. and Mrs. Watson think that Mercy is going for help. But in actuality, Mercy is quite hungry and she's sneaking off to find some buttered toast figures, right? So Mercy goes to the kitchen, but she can't find any real good food to eat. So she decides to go next door to Baby and Eugenia Lincoln's those are, their, those are the Watson's neighbors to see if she can find some food there. And what happens is really, really funny. Baby Eugenie, baby Lincoln ends up seeing Watson, uh, Mercy Watson at her window, but she thinks it's a monster. And she calls for her sister for help. And Eugenia Lincoln ends up calling the fire department because she thinks there's a monster in her sister's bedroom. And the fire department comes out as Eugenia discovers that it's actually Mercy and she's chasing Mercy through their, through their yard. Lucky, luckily for them, the fire department hears Mr. and Mrs. Watson next door. So if you want to find out how the fire department helps um, Mr. and Mrs. Watson get out the bed before the bed falls through the floor, and what other troubles that Mercy gets into, you should read Mercy Watson to the rescue. Okay, and the last story I have for you is The Princess in Black by Shannon Hale and Dean Hale. So this is Princess Magnolia. And Princess Magnolia is a perfect princess who wears pink all the time. Well, not all the time. Princess Magnolia has is having over Duchess Wing Tower and they're having hot chocolate and scones. And as they're talking, Princess Magnolia gets a ring ring from one of her one of her rings actually on her finger. And it happens to be a secret call for Princess Magnolia to transform it um, from her actual, you know, persona into the princess in black, her alter ego, who fights the monsters. So Princess Magnolia excuses herself from the table where her and Duchess Wingtower are sitting and goes and sneaks into a closet and transforms into the princess in black. And she quickly leaves the castle to go and fight off a monster who's trying to eat the goats next door. But she has to be quick because Duchess Wingtower is snooping around the castle and she doesn't want her to find out that Princess Magnolia is actually, that Princess Magnolia's alter eagle is actually the princess in black. Read on to find out if Princess Magnolia or the princess in black can hurry up and save the day while also maintaining her disguise without Princess or Duchess Wing Tower finding out who she actually is. Well, thank you for joining me and listening to the stories I have brought to you. If you want to read any of these stories or discover more, stop by any of the three Worthington libraries. Hope to see you soon. Bye.